To be perfectly honest with you, if I could have shot Barry Manthe and got away with it, I'd have shot him. I would have double tapped him with the back of his head and walked away. In 99, I came to Columbia, Missouri. I was working for a bail bonds company. Um, the company hired me to come in and take care of uh, its recovery department, which were people that missed court dates. I found them, I traveled to where they were at, I apprehended them, and I brought them back to the court returnable. The bonding company I worked for had been doing business with him for a little while. We knew that he ran prostitutes because we had bonded some of the girls out that worked for him. Most of the community knew about them, certainly every bonding company in, in Boone County knew about it. Between me, my ex-wife, and I don't know, three or four other bond agents that was with all time, we probably bonded out every freaking hooker in the county. It was a profitable relationship. He had girls that worked for him. They would get arrested. They'd get in trouble. We'd bond them out. He'd pay us. But as that developed, as that went forward, Barry came under suspicion. So Barry got arrested on some minor charges back in 97, 98, and um, we bonded him out on a couple of those minor charges. He'd go to jail, we'd bond him out, we'd take him to the hotel where he was staying at. He'd come back out the door, flip out cash. As Barry's charges went forward, they got more and more serious. We had him out on minor charges. Um, I think it was traffic infractions, something of that nature. However, he was also charged with promoting prostitution. Barry missed a court date and left the state of Missouri. He basically skipped his bond. We started looking for him, trying to trace him. So we were getting information back that what had happened was Barry basically skipped. He moved his operation from here in Columbia, Missouri to Las Vegas, Nevada. He had gone out to Vegas. Can you tell me why he left for Vegas? Because he got busted. Had some girlfriend or something out there. He was on the run, I guess. Did yeah. He told you? Yeah. Okay. Did he tell you why he was on the run? For uh, prostitution. He was doing the same thing in Las Vegas that he was doing here. He was, he was running prostitutes. Some of the same girls that were working for him here um, had ties to some of the girls that were working for him out there because some, a couple of them left and traveled with him. We found him and was getting ready to go out there. We did not pursue him to Las Vegas, Nevada because it wasn't worth it. It was a kind of a business decision. Um, we would have spent more money trying to recover him than we would have if we just paid his bond. As nice as Vegas was, Barry must have had a soft spot for Missouri because according to those around him, he started looking for a way back and it didn't take long for him to find one. In 2003, the prostitution indictment against Barry Manthe was nolly prost or dismissed. A report prepared by Officer Carolyn Foster indicated Barry's prostitution charges were dismissed by way of a nolly prosequi on April 14, 2013. When you're a fugitive from justice on a felony, the government doesn't normally say, oh, you hit it long enough, we're going to dismiss the case. Especially when you're dealing with something as reprehensible as uh, someone who promotes underage prostitution. It was surprising that that was uh, dismissed without explanation. In the 90s, he let, yeah, the CPD got fed up with him. He left, went to Vegas, opened up operation out there, waited a few years and came back here. When he came back here, all that pressure was off all of a sudden, which indicates that he was back, had kind of entrenched himself back into the community here and was providing information to the to law enforcement. Did he ever tell you why he was able to come back? He said he contacted uh, an officer. Well, she started having prosecutors that would drop charges and uh, you'd start seeing different raids happen. And, uh, There's a... Uh, a lot of, of people that were um, prominent people in Columbia that would partake of his services. Um, people that I, I wouldn't name, but um, there was, you know, very catered to a wide variety of people in Columbia, Missouri. I'd like to see him do life in prison. That's where he needs to be. 